Welcome to another lesson of Technology for All Academy Sira Lesson. Today's lesson is inspired by comments from Zikona Shoti and Lady Pell 34. Hope this lesson will answer your questions and more. I also hope it will help those of you who would like to be security officers. If you have a comment or a question, please feel free to leave it and we'll attend to it as soon as we can. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we drop another lesson. Our focus for today will be on security officer registration on the CIRA portal. We will start from the pre-assessment and we will finish our lesson by discussing the methods of payments. Without any waste of time, let us begin our lesson. Our first step is to open our CIRA website. Okay, let's go to the CIRA website www.sira.co.za Make sure that you are on the home page and on the right when you scroll down click on SSP online registration and it will take you to another page or open the portal so that you can start your registration In this page we have three tabs being the security officer, security business and in-house security business so since we are registering for security officer, we are going to click on the security officer tab. And then when we click the tab, you can see there's a box or a dialog box that pop up or a GUI that pop up. And it's saying, are you currently registered with Sira? If you are registered, click claim your profile or login. To access your profile, otherwise click no register now to continue with registration. And since this is our first time registration, we are going to click on no register now. The claim your profile is for people who are already registered with SIR and they want to register to the portal. Maybe you, you were registered with SIR before the portal was introduced. So your details are still on the SIR database. So you don't have to do a new registration. All you have to do is to claim your profile. So for us, since this is our first time contact with Sira, we'll click on No Register Now. On the page that opened, make sure that you read the prerequisites and you understand and answer them as honestly as you can. Even though Sira is a private security industry, it is regulated by the state and they have their means to know if you are lying. So make sure that you answer everything correctly and as honestly as you can because if you are dishonest then you won't be able to get your seer when you finish reading there's two tabs yes i meet the requirements and no i do not meet the requirements if you click no i do not meet the requirements then the portal will let you to carry on with your registration so if you meet the requirements you will click on yes i meet the requirements and then on the page that opens you will have to fill in your first name, your surname, your date of birth, cell phone number, ID number, and your email address. And also, you must click the tick box of I'm not a robot. Okay, let's carry on. Taban. Makobe. And when you enter your cell phone, Make sure that you leave the zero or you omit the zero. You start with the first number. Maybe if it's uh, MTN 078, you are going to start with 78. When you are done filling your particulars, you will click on Submit. On the graphic user interface that opened, you have to enter your OTP that you got. You will get an SMS from SIR. Okay. And then if you have entered the right OTP, You'll get the message, a thank you for starting your registration process. Your provisional application has been received. Please check your email for login credential. Continue to the dashboard. Okay, you click on continue to the dashboard. And then now that we are inside the dashboard, you can see it says in progress because you have just started your registration. By the time you go to Sira to hand in your fingerprints for Hannes and CRC checkup, it will change from in progress to submitted for review. And after your CRC status has been checked and approved, it will still remain on submitted for review. Up until your training provider submit your training records to CIRA. And then when CIRA approve your training records, 
then the status will change from submitted for review to approved for now we can see that our phone has been verified and our email is not verified and fingerprints also they are not verified we can do everything online except the fingerprints the fingerprints you have to go to sira offices so that you can submit them for honey's and crc check okay for now you have to go to your email so that we can verify our email because it takes one hour for us to verify our email okay let me go to gmail and then in the email it's the same please find below the link to verify your email and then you click on the link okay i'll click here and then we have a response thank you for verifying your email continue to login so i'll click continue to login and then because i haven't done password for our login i'll click on login with otp and then i'll put in my cell number and then i'll click on send otp and please make sure that you enter the new otp not the one that you used when you logged in before okay let me put the otp and click on verify otp and now we can see the email is also verified and as i've said the fingerprints you have to go to sira offices in order to do the fingerprint verification our next step is to start the pre-assessment you'll click on start your pre-assessment test and then as you can see on the page that opened we got the message you are about to begin the pre-registration assessment the questionnaire is designed to provide sira with basic information about the applicant good luck and then there's a tab for back and tab for start assessment you're going to click on start assessment and then the first question says are you 18 years or old then we'll click yes if you are younger than 18 years then you are not valid to apply for sira certification okay i'll click yes because i'm over 18 then i'll click next and the next question what is your highest level of education please people as i've said before be as honest as you can if you don't have metric don't say you have metric while you don't have metric be as honest as you can okay my highest education metric okay i'll click next and then question three have you been found guilty of murder rape armed robber capable homicide involving the use of a firearm or any form of intentional violence terrorism after 1994 and the high treason within the last 10 years because i know myself the answer is no because i have no criminal record but i also believe you also know yourself and you'll answer as honest as you can i'll click on no and then i'll click on next question and the last question is says are you legally eligible to work in south africa and also this question if you can't work in south africa then the portal won't let you to carry on with the registration so i know i can work in south africa so i'll click on yes and then i click on finish and then it says sira pre-assessment thank you for taking the pre-assessment okay i'll click on okay and now that we are done with the pre-assessment the portal will take us back to the dashboard and we can start our registration so in order for you to start your registration you have to first pay the amount of 250 so that you can carry on with the registration and as you can see on the dashboard it says congratulations you have passed the pre-assessment to show you the payment methods i'll click on pay now even though i know i'm not going to pay that's why i said we are going to finish this lesson when you get to payment okay payment information ordinary summary please read the terms and condition you have to read the terms and condition and then if you agree to the terms and condition you will click on agree and then we know that if you disagree then you won't be able to go forward with your registration and the payments method we have three methods to pay the first one if you click bank payment then it it will allow you to pay via eft and then the second one on credit or debit you can pay with your visa 
or you can clean or you can click the drop down arrow and choose mastercard or american express if you have it but i know a lot of south african we have visa and mastercard especially mastercard so you can choose visa or mastercard and you can also do the eft and once you are done with your payment then you can carry on with your registration i hope this lesson was informative and beneficial if you benefited from this lesson please share with those who will also benefit from it and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we drop another lesson with that let me love and leave you have a blessed day thank you